And election day is tomorrow in Georgia. Officials hope for a strong voter turnout in the municipal elections in Ringgold in spite of the early numbers. The voters will cast ballots for city council seats and for mayor. Local 3's Abigail Martin has what to expect and those voter numbers. Abigail. Voter participation is extremely low this year. John Pless, Catoosa County's public information officer, says he hopes to see Ringgold residents at the polls tomorrow. We had 323 total ballots cast early. That was 309 of actual votes here at the Freedom Center and 14 out of 18 absentee ballots requested have been returned. Plus says that number is 20% lower than those who voted early in the last municipal general election. Plus says the ballot is very simple. A former city council member is challenging the current mayor and four candidates are running for three seats on the city council. Three of them are incumbents. Well, it's important to vote because the people who do vote are the ones who are going to deciding who represents them and in essence what type of policies will follow. To vote in the Ringgold election, you must be registered to vote and need to take along a photo ID with you. So as long as you're registered, as long as your registration is valid, as long as you bring a photo ID and as long as you live in the city limits of Ringgold, then you can vote. You can visit the My Voter page to check out your registration. There you will fill out your first initial, last name, county, and your date of birth. It will verify if you are registered, show your poll location, and show a sample ballot. Plus, as in Catoosa County, there is typically a big turnout on Election Day. Once tomorrow comes uh, from 8 to 7, that's it. So the votes will be tallied and the winners will take them. The Ringgold Municipal General Election will close its voting tomorrow night at 7. You can find a link to Georgia's My Voter page on our website. We will bring you the election results as soon as they are available. Reporting live in studio, I'm Abigail Martin, Local 3 News.